What's going on everybody? So, we're down in the dungeon. I'm in the basement. I like to call this my little workshop. This is where I get all my projects complete. So today's video is going to be about four new items that I got for my reef system. Now, when I say reef system, I mean everything. Whether it be something that goes in the tank, something that goes underneath, something that goes above it, something that goes down here in the basement because I do a lot of work down here. So, Let's check out these items and um, see what kind of upgrade they really are for me. All right, so you can see here, there's only three items. One, two, three. The fourth item is actually already upstairs installed on the tank, so we will take a look at that shortly. But let's take a look at number one. So the first item is a portable TDS meter. Uh, it comes in this nice little pouch, it does come with some instructions. This thing is very easy to use. Now, I really wanted to have this for my mixing station. My reverse osmosis system already has a TDS meter on it. It has a, a three-point TDS meter. One is it measures the TDS before it goes into the DI, and then the second one is after the first DI stage, and then the third one is after the second DI stage. Nice little shadow from the camera there, but whatever, this is down in the dungeon. So I already have a TDS meter on this, but let me show you exactly what I want to use it for. So this is where my RO water goes and it stays stored. It's in your typical brute trash can. I believe this is a 32 gallon can, um, or actually 35 I think, I don't remember, but it holds, um, the where I drilled the float switch, it holds about um, 35 gallons of RO water so that I have it when I need it. Now basically your water's sitting in here. Um, it's not a perfectly sealed container, so for me, I just wanted to check my TDS, even though I clean, uh, let me see, I'll show you guys, even though I do clean my RO reservoir monthly, um, I still want to make sure that there's no issues. So portable TDS meter, and this is also really great if you get your RO water from the LFS because you want to know what it is. Easy. Hit the on button, hold it in, and there's a hold button where you hit hold and there we go zero TDS so this is a great little tool I said like I said if you want to check where your water is being stored or if you use water from your LFS and you want to know what the TDS is in their RO all right so the number two is marine pure spheres so I just ordered myself another two quart box of Marine Pure Spheres. I have two quarts already in my sump, but a, a, what I wanna do eventually is maybe have about four of these boxes um, in my sump, and you know, once in a while, when I'm bored and I remember to, um, just stir them up. So we'll take a quick look upstairs and I'll show you exactly where they are. All right, so we're upstairs. Here's the sump. Here's where the refugium section is, I guess you could call it. I'm not currently running a uh, macroalgae refugium. This is just two boxes of the Marine Pure Spheres and an old block that I'm actually gonna be taking out and getting rid of altogether. Eventually what I'm gonna be doing is, is I'm gonna be building a tray so that these spheres are about two inches off the bottom and they're gonna be interchangeable. So this way, when I do wanna clean out the sump, it's going to be very easy to do. Um, I came up with a really great idea that I think you guys are gonna enjoy, so wait for that video. Um, but that's it for the Marine Pure Spheres. Now, since we're upstairs, let's take a look at the number three. So the number three uh, new product or upgrade for my system is, not the T5 bulbs, yes. There's an LED over my tank. This is the 48 inch Reef Bright Tech LED strip. 
All right, I kind of angled it a little bit so you guys could see it a little bit better. But yep, I have LEDs over my tank. Um, this is just one. I'm probably going to be getting a second one for the back side of the tank. But nonetheless, I have LEDs over my system. Let me know what you guys think about me putting LEDs over it. It's, you know, a reef break, but I still have my T5s, so I have gone hybrid. Um, I will be doing a video on the installation of this later down the road. Very, very simple, very easy to do. Once I get the second one, I'm gonna take the canopy off and um, reinstall it, because I did get new brackets for the reef bread itself. And I do have it so that it's slightly angled towards the back. So, that's that. Now, let's go back downstairs and take a look at the fourth upgrade. All right, so the fourth upgrade is actually a birthday present from my fiance Olivia. So I'm not 100% sure what's in here. I told her what I would like for my birthday. I usually don't ask for things. She could vouch for that. I, the only thing I ever really ask for is beef jerky, Mountain Dew, and cheese balls. Those things make me happy. Um, or also to sleep in really late one day. But I actually said, you know what would be handy? Typically, I am using a bucket to sit on because I am over six feet tall and my ceilings are six feet tall, so I'm constantly bashing my head on stuff. Actually, let me show you if I, yeah. As you can see, I just did it today. I cut my head on the ceiling because I was working on something and uh, yeah, so. Let's rip this thing open and um, let's see if it uh, really is what I put on my birthday wish list. steel it's awesome it's very heavy duty I'm 340 pounds and this thing isn't even making a weird sound so thanks for the birthday gift thank you it's pretty good I like it so that's it for today so we went through the four things so I got my portable TDS meter I got the marine pure spheres to add to the sump I got the new LED for my tank, which is the 48 inch Reef Bright Tech. And I got myself a rolling stool. So now when I'm down here, I don't have to drag a bucket all over the place. And, and you know, my ass hurts if I'm sitting for so long. Nope, this thing is legit, man. And I told you guys that I like cheese balls. You always save your cheese ball containers. You never know what they're gonna be used for. They're awesome. They have a pretty good lid on them. Yep. Oh, I got another one. See, I use my pre-cut pinky pads. I cut a bunch up and I put them in here, keeps them nice and clean. I have my filter socks. When I'm done washing them, I put them in one and I put it up there as well. So that's it. Those are the four new upgrades that I got for my system. Hope you guys enjoy this video. See you guys on the next one. Later.